with Steve Bannon got the subpoena. He wrote, his lawyer wrote a letter saying he wants to comply. Executive privilege has been invoked. If you'll take us before a judge and the judge orders the privilege is not valid or not so broad, I will testify. I will give you the documents, period. They chose not to do that. That's the normal course of things. Go to a civil enforcement proceeding. They By the way, if people need to know the history of this, this has not happened since 1974 at G. Gordon Liddy. Just so people understand, historically, this doesn't happen. Eric Holder was never charged in the case when, when he was held in contempt of Congress. There's a whole host of Democrats that were held in contempt of Congress and nothing ever happens to them. And before this administration, the Justice Department has had a policy for at least six decades, back to the 50s, that when executive privilege is invoked, they, this criminal statute will not apply and they will not, Congress may not pursue it. Executive privilege is entitled to a, uh, a presumption of validity. It's not for Congress to decide whether it applies or how broadly it applies. But yeah, so that, that's the background. Uh, the President Trump invokes executive privilege. And he, here's, well, the, here's the question, though, that I think would, would be relevant, considering that Steve Bannon had been out of the event. I've known Steve Bannon for years. And we usually get along, not always, but we usually get along. I, I have a lot of respect for him. He could have walked in, he could have pled the fifth, walked out, and they couldn't lay a hand on him. 